All right, so I got my hubs back. This is actually a Mako hub. I'm not gonna use this one though. What I am gonna use is this one here. And the first thing I have to do is take off the paint from where the, you can see where this goes. Because that uh, can act as a washer. So, a couple ways you can do that. You can sit there and try to sand it down uh, with some sandpaper. It's a while. Uh, you can take it to a machine shop and have them take it off with a lathe. Uh, what I'm going to try to do here is use a Dremel and a buffer wheel. So I got these buffer wheels. And so these don't really um, <clears throat> grind. They're really, really slow and soft. So I should be able to just barely just take off the paint uh, with minimal effort. So it's a game of making sure that these point in the direction that you're putting them in. So you the next one. Same thing. This is a little bit harder though, because if you see these are all flat. There's no bend of which way they go, so. And there's the pain in the ass part of it, which is the truing part. Uh, luckily for dirt, it doesn't have to be that precise. It can be off by about two millimeters. So, done the best I could to try to get this. It's not perfect. Tiny bit of a side to side in it, but it's, uh, I believe it is within two millimeters. So, I don't think I'm gonna mess that anymore. Such a pain in the ass. I gotta do the back one now. Yeah. Now the other wheel's done. These things are a pain in the ass to do. <coughs> it's still a little bit. You're allowed to have two millimeters side to side. Everything sounds good. Alright, so I got this tire on. Next thing to do. Put in the uh, 
Rim locks I have over here. These rim locks gonna go in. And then I gotta get the uh, inner tube in. So, so I have this here. Uber heavy duty. And this is a very, very thick, heavy duty tire for sure. We're actually not going to use this, so. So, I'm going to seat this thing. Let's see, that's what it looks like. The side is seated, as you can see. The other side, I left it overnight. Let me see if it's not seated. Right there, see? Oh no, sorry, right here. This little piece right here still needs to be seated. So, And now, and now, hours, it's finally seated, and it's on. You can see I got these blue caps. Of course, I still have to do the front tire, but now I can put on this rear tire. Unfortunately, I'll take this caliper off. Can't use it. It's too big. It's for the older bikes. <sighs> but, um, I'm going to have to take off the caliper from the old bike, the old tire, and put it on. It's not going to look as cool as this one, unfortunately. So, I gotta put this one on, unfortunately. As you can see, it looks a lot less appealing than the other one. So, what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to clean it up a little bit. But, uh, yeah, that's all I have right now until I get a new one. But, uh, that's the only one that will work on that caliper. <coughs> the other caliper will work. Uh, that's for the other bikes. And so the, uh, the knob's not in the right place, so I can't put it on that bike. So... I have to go. So, clean it up a little bit. Doesn't look as good as the other one, obviously. I mean, the other one looked a lot better. But, <coughs> it's too big. If I overlay it, you can see that it comes up a little bit. They have new ones like this that's on my 700, but it's smaller. It's come down a little bit. This is for an older, this would work on the older Mako. I lowered the lift. It's going to be easier. Okay, Let's see how the chain looks on it. Let's see what we got here. There's a 
glue chain. Let's see how this is gonna work. long enough. And you can see the blue is actually the same color as the motor. So, see the finish putting that on. Then you do the front tire. <laughs> 